Hello everyone, welcome back to Child of the Kingdom. Thank you guys for coming back. Please be sure to subscribe and thumbs up at the end of the video if you guys enjoyed the content. Today we're going to be talking about just feeling like nothing works. Feeling like you've given your life to God, you're in the faith, <clears throat> you're in the faith and it's just like dead end after dead end after dead end. I just want to share a quick story with you guys. When I graduated university, that was like almost two years ago, which is so so crazy but when i graduated university i was really hit with a lot of postgraduate depression um and just really disappointed with my life i wasn't getting a job any jobs even like mcdonald's like nothing i was not getting any kind of jobs um when i was getting work i was you know being fired after three months or the contract ends or the company goes bankrupt like it's it was it was crazy it still kind of is crazy to be fair um and I just felt like nothing is working and I felt really upset because I've committed a lot of my life towards my faith and I was like okay God like I've done what you told me to do like the least you could do is just give me a job it really frustrated me and it hurt me because I felt like there was no hope in in this faith I felt like there was no hope in Christianity I felt like I was always going to be let down so I might as well just prepare to live a life where I'm always disappointed um, and I had to really work through that and I was reading and kind of meditating on the scriptures one morning and I remembered how in Luke chapter 5 when Peter Simon Peter he was fishing on his boat and he had been fishing for a while and there was just no fish and that's frustrating because it's like this is my work this is my profession this is what I need to sustain myself my household my family my community whatever and this is what I've committed to doing and I'm doing it and there's no return I'm doing it and I'm not catching any fish I'm sitting here I'm waking up every morning at four in the morning coming on this boat with my nets and my bait and nothing is happening and then Jesus came and Jesus said to Simon he said launch out into the deep and let your nets for a catch basically put your nets out and catch something and so then Simon Peter says master we have toiled all night and caught nothing okay so he even told Jesus like Jesus I've been here I've been throwing my net I've been trying to do this I have been here nothing is it doesn't work but then he said, nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net at your word. Um, another version says, if you say so. And so I have been meditating on that and kind of reflecting on that and thinking sometimes in life, like we work at things for a while and it doesn't work out for us. We keep on applying to jobs and there is no job. We keep on, you know, trying to mend our relationship and they keep hurting us. We keep on trying to, you know, be a good person and then we keep getting walked all over like, sometimes we keep on casting out our nets and there's just no fish and it just comes to the point where you're t you're just tired you know have you i know there's someone watching this who's tired because i feel like a part of me is also a little bit tired and as i was reflecting on the scripture i liked that one of the, the versions one of the translations said but if you say so i'll cast out my net and that gave me some hope because God's word like God is still living God is not a God who sleeps he's not a God who slumbers he's not a God who takes vacation takes time off like he is very present and omniscient and you know what I mean just like all-knowing very available and I shouldn't feel like there is no hope because even though I cast my net and nothing happens even though I apply for the jobs and nothing happens even though I try and fix my relationship and nothing happens even though I try and you know reconcile with my dad and it just gets worse like even though I'm trying and I'm casting my net and casting my net and I'm tired I still have hope because I know that when God gives me that word when God says so it will come to pass and it's all just in his time. That's why the scriptures say that we are planted by the riverbank and we produce water, we produce fruit in due season, right? We produce a harvest in due season. So we're still there planted. We're still being hydrated. We're still trying. But when the word of the Lord comes forth, when God says so, we can be assured that the Lord said so and this is going to work. The Lord said so, I'm going to get a job. When God opens that door for me, I'm going to see the glory just overwhelm me like you know what I mean like there is something to hope for this is not a dead end I just need to keep casting and keep trying and keep trying even if I'm tired just keep trying and let that knowledge kind of sustain me that there will come a time when a word will come and when God will say princess apply for this or princess I've opened the door for this or princess I'm taking you here and it's like that time will come 
right you're not exempt from it um god is not a god who doesn't speak anymore he's living he's ancient of days he's the alpha and the omega he's the beginning and the end he hears me even talking right now you know and so there is a lot to hope for there is a lot to look forward to there is a lot to kind of believe in god for and all we need is a word and so that should help us and fuel us even in worship and in prayer like that should fuel us to say like what i'm seeking you like i'm pursuing you like i'm tearing i'm waiting on you because all i need is a word i, I keep casting my nets i keep fighting for this you know application i keep fighting to be in this school i keep fighting to be in this program and i'm tired but i know there's something to hope for because as soon as you say so things are going to start shifting Right? As soon as you set that time, as soon as you ordain this moment to be the moment, things are going to start shifting. Even when we cast our nets and we don't see the fish return, even when we try and we don't see the result we want, things are still moving. And I want to encourage somebody too that I know you might be tired, but it, all it takes is a mustard seed of faith. The littlest bit, you need to believe that that can get you somewhere. The littlest, tiniest bit, you need to believe that that can grow bigger. You need to believe that that can do something. You need to believe that God can see you. It's like the woman with the issue of blood just laying on the floor and crowds are following Jesus. Crowds are reaching out and touching Jesus and she's just limp on the floor. You know, blood has been running out of her body for years. Was it 12 years or something like that? And she reaches out her hand and touches Jesus, not because she thinks he can feel her, but just just let this be enough you know what i mean like let me just try and he said who touched me jesus said who touched me there's a whole crowd of people jesus a bunch of people touched you but that touch her touch her tiny little faith that could you know maximize and expand into enough to touch jesus that was enough for him to be like who touched me somebody touched me because some virtue left to him you know what i mean he felt it and I think that should be our motivation in prayer, our motivation in worship. Like when I'm worshiping God, like I'm not worshiping you because I, I am trying to um, bribe you. You know, I'm not worshiping you because I want you to think I'm the best worshiper so you can give me. I'm worshiping you because my hope is in you. You know what I mean? Like there, I'm even getting emotional because it's like there's no other option. You know what I mean? Like. There is absolutely no other op the who is going to save us. I don't know why I'm getting so <laughs> crazy. Who is going to save us? You know what I mean? Who's coming to rescue us? Who's coming to, to tell us it's going to be okay? Who is our salvation? Who's our savior? Who's our protector? Who? Like, if not Christ, then who? And so even in those moments where you feel just tired and bombarded, like, let that be your hope that when the Lord sends the word and the word goes forth, my time will come. In the meantime, let me just keep casting my net. You know? Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it encouraged somebody. Be encouraged. I know it's really difficult, but the Lord loves us. He never leaves. He doesn't forsake us. And like I said, if not Jesus, then who? Who's going to save us? Who is our Messiah? Who is our Savior? Who is our Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, our healer, our provider, our victor, our banner? Nobody else. Nobody else can do what God can do for you. Nobody else can do what God can do for me. And so we don't have any other option but to put our hope in him. And so let that encourage you that as I put my hope in you, I know that a day will come when you say, cast your net and I will do it and fish will come. I hope you guys are blessed and um, leave comments. Let me know what you think. And I will definitely talk to you guys later. Bye.